Hello guys, welcome to today's vlog. Today is going to be a writing vlog. Hopefully, I will get some words down. It's all about giving you a little motivation by watching my struggle and watching me actually get some words down. So, I have not written a thing in probably five months. Actually, hold on. Yeah, I haven't written anything since November. So even longer. Um, as you guys know, I am doing a series on this channel, which is part of this playlist, where I am documenting my writing process step by step from beginning to publishing. And it's all about writing my next book, which is a Christmas story. I just posted a video talking about my deadline, the deadline that I'm under in order to publish this book for Christmas. So this is it. If I don't write any words today, if I don't actually get inspired to write this story right now, I'm probably going to put it to rest because I've never really gone this long without writing a story that I started. And chances are that if I started this story and I haven't written and I'm not like motivated to write, I know that I've had a lot of things going on between my move from North Carolina to Florida and just getting settled and just being in that waiting game. Plus I published another book in March. So there was a lot of things going on that had prevented me from actually just being in the writing space. But I am hoping that I have the house to myself. My husband's at work. I am going to play some music. I have done a little prepping to get ready for today. Uh, one of the things I did is I downloaded a new audiobook. I downloaded It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. And well, I did it on Audible because that's usually how I listen to my books. That's usually how I do all my reading is by doing Audible, which reminds me if you are wanting to try Audible, I highly recommend it. I've been on Audible now for like 10 years. I absolutely love it. That's how I, I mean, this is all the books that I've read. Um, that I've listened to because I know some people don't like to <laughs> don't like it when I say read when I've actually listened to a book but um, I have a, co a code with them I became an affiliate with audible which I'm so honored and so happy because I I am a huge fan of audible books that you can now if you use my code you can start a free trial and start listening today i will leave the link below if you guys want to check it out but i did start listening to that book to see if i can start just getting a little back in the zone of writing romance and that's why i downloaded that book because that book was oh, it's all the rave on youtube and tiktok and everybody's loving that book so i'm like let me try it so that's what I did. I have all my essentials like I've mentioned before. I did another video talking about my writing essentials. I have all my writing tools right here. I have my notebook and I'm getting ready to plug in my laptop, put some music on, light a candle and start writing. So it's a long intro, but that's what vlogs are, right? A little bit of intro, letting you know where my mind's at, letting you know where I'm going. This video is going to be in the playlist of I'll link it here. I'll show you guys which one it is. It's the playlist where I am documenting this journey. Hopefully this is not the last video I upload on this playlist. Hopefully I will get some words done and I will get in the groove and say that this book will actually get published because if you did not watch that last video where I showed you my deadlines, I'm supposed to have my first draft done by the end of May. Let me get my beverage. Let me get my computer plugged in. Let's get some music and the candle going and let's get writing. <laughs> We are 11,925 words. Let's see where we go from here. Hopefully that will change. Hopefully I will get a lot of words down. I'm not even, I don't even care, honestly, about how many words I get down at this point. I'm just trying to get as many words as I can. The goal for today is no distractions. I don't know if you, um, to avoid <laughs> as many distractions as possible. 
I don't know if you could just hear that. That's my daughter texting me. I'm going to text her now and I'm going to let her know that I'm writing and I cannot chat <laughs> because I get distracted. If you guys know she's pregnant. So we're talking baby stuff right now, but I just need an hour to just focus at least one hour right now without any distraction so that I can get, I mean, I'm going to be writing all day. Well, not all day, but for a few hours. <sighs> Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Okay, so something I've been doing over the last couple weeks is I've been rereading the story. I haven't gotten any words down, but I've been rereading the story. And I'm almost done rereading everything I've written, but um, I decided to stop the, not to start writing yet, to stop the rereading and just look at my 15 beat sheet that I did and see where I'm heading because at this point I don't even remember I don't even remember the the middle stuff like the, the things that people are showing up for in this book so I need to go over all that stuff just refresh my memory and then go from there there are a couple things that I changed and I did say I didn't write at the beginning I hadn't written in six months that's actually not true I did write because I know that I changed a few things in the story so because initially another thing that's going on in my head and you guys have to forgive my hair today i did not feel like doing it but anyway um one of the things i considered doing was changing the story from uh plot driven i mean character driven to um plot driven and then when i started rereading the story i realized the story works fine i love it the way it is so i wasn't going to change it to uh plot so i, I just need to right now read over my 15 beat sheet that I did, my outline that I did, and see, um, to remind myself of the theme, the setup, which I already wrote. The cat, I'm at the catalyst point right now. And actually the debate. So I'm entering in the story, I'm entering into act two. So this is the moment the hero decides to accept the call to action, leave their comfort zone, try something new, venture into a new world or a new way of thinking. That's where I'm at right now. And as a writer, you probably already know that the next act two is the hardest to write. So that's probably why I haven't written, really written like added words. I changed things, I changed something in the story, but it didn't really add to the story as far as words or anything it's just anyways so i'm going over my outline and then hopefully finish rereading and then start writing it is currently 10 16 let's see how much i get done Okay, so this is where I'm at right now. It's been an hour since I started writing and I've only added like 80 words, but I'm still in the process of rereading. And this is the problem why maybe you shouldn't reread. I mean, I had to reread because it's been so long since I started writing. But remember, if you are in the flow of writing, maybe go back and read the last chapter or the last few pages but don't start from the beginning that's what i did i started from the beginning and that's why it's taken me a little longer to reread everything i've written but part of the struggle right now is that i started reading this book understanding show don't tell and really getting it by janice harding this book right here and it's so good there's so much good information on here i really love it but the problem is that i'm not only just rereading it but i'm fixing things so when i see myself telling and i know there's a better way to write it i'm fixing it so i haven't really been adding new words you know here and there but i've really been showing more than telling because they said it's better to do it in the first draft so why wait till the complete draft is done to fix it if i see something that can be written rewritten better then i'm going to do it but one thing that i i mean this book has given me everything i need for writing I, I, you know guys know how much i love save the cat well this one is on point um 
something I really like about this book is that she talks about how it's not the whole saying about show don't tell it's really like misleading because there are times where you have to tell so don't beat yourself up about the times when you have to tell but if there's a moment where you can show then go ahead and do so so that you don't pull the reader away so that is what i'm really trying to learn even more now is to get to the point where i am showing where i have to tell when i have to so if you are struggling with the show don't tell aspect of your writing like i have then remember it's not a always show there's a balance there's times when you should show there are times when you need to tell and that's perfectly fine all right let me get back to writing and it's been an hour like i said it's 11 14 now so <laughs> I'm breaking for lunch. It is 12 o'clock. I have added a bunch of words. I'll give you guys an update after lunch, but right now I'm gonna go eat. Now that I know how many words I have to write, as you guys saw, I think I feel better. I'm not usually, if you guys have watched my videos before, you know that I'm not really a fan. I'm not that I'm not a fan. I just don't usually write by word count i like to write by either a chapter or by a certain scene but given the fact that i'm under deadline i thought it would be best to just get an understanding of where i'm at and how many words i need to finish if i want to get the first draft done by the end of the month i mean at this point we only have like two and a half weeks left till may is done so if i want to really really finished this first draft and I, I given the fact that I started writing and I am inspired and it turned out to be a positive vlog after all a good writing vlog I forgot what I was saying <laughs> anyways um given the fact that I do want to finish the novel that I'm not going to put it to rest I think it's a good idea to know exactly where I stand how many words I need to finish and that's why I did the math and right now it turns out i need about 2,000 words a day so that's what i'm gonna get in today i'm almost there not quite and it's only 12 30. so i think in the next hour i am going to get the words that i need so let's do this I'm on the struggle bus. <laughs> I'm on the struggle bus. Oh, this is so frustrating. Okay. I have 1,200 words so far. I have like 1,200 words to write still. Why is this crooked? Like my apartment is like leaning or something. Or I don't even know. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I have like 1,200 words to write. It's been over an hour. I've written 800 words, basically. And I need to write 2,000. So I need 1,200 more. 1,200. That doesn't seem like anything. I don't know why I'm struggling. It's 147. I know I'm not alone here. I know other writers have gone through this, but I'm not going to stop until I get to 2,000. Because I love the story. I really do. I think it's great. And I think it's going to be so much fun. And I'm going to feel so happy knowing I have a Christmas book that I, do, that I published. And I'm really excited about this. I just don't know what's wrong. Okay, 
So this is where we're at. We're very close. And it is 314. So 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3. Five hours. I've been writing for five hours. And I'm trying to get 2,000 words. Okay? So this is my takeaway. And then I'm going to get back to writing and see if I can finish. We're very close. I hope I can do it. I still don't even know if I can do it, but I'm hoping that I can. Regardless of where this video ends, just know that if you're writing a book, it's a struggle. It's not easy. It's not, it's just not. But if you have a desire and you want to do it, you can. So this is my takeaway from my day so far. Um, before you get started, do kind of like what I did. Do the prep work, get inspired, see if that helps you get in the flow of writing. Um, next, if you really don't feel it, if you really don't want to, then don't. I want to. I want to finish this book. I love the book. I love it. I love the story. I love where it's going. I love the plot. I love that the setting, it's Christmas. I love it. So that's why I'm, I'm going and I keep going. If I hadn't been able to really get in the flow and I was just kind of like, no, I don't want to. I just don't want to write the story. If I had been in that mindset, I would have put it to rest and moved on. So make sure it's something that you really want to do. Next, um, get clear on what it is that you need in order to get finished and set your goal like my goal is to get a first draft done by May so then I got really clear on how many words I needed to write uh, per day then um, you need to set aside some time like I did today whether it's you know you want to set aside an hour or two hours or a whole day like I'm doing do whatever you need to do but set aside some time to just regroup and look at your story and see what you can do with it the next thing I recommend is to avoid distractions. Um, I've had a lot of distractions today. I haven't really gotten on my phone. I got on my phone a couple times to look on Instagram, but I kept putting it back because I'm like, this is a distraction. Don't do it. I did it more when I was having lunch because I couldn't really write and have lunch at the same time. So I did get on there, but I have not turned my TV on at all. I haven't gone on YouTube. and. My other distraction was my daughter was at the pool with the kids and I love going to the pool with the kids and I really wanted to go but I decided no. If I finish my 2,000 words, I will go to the pool. If not, I won't. I didn't so I didn't go to the pool. But avoid distractions if at all possible. And uh, my last thing for you is or my last takeaway is if you are struggling like me and you don't feel like doing it like I did it which is all day pretty much just sitting there trying to get 2,000 words, you can spread your writing sprints and that's probably what i'll do like tomorrow i'll probably write 500 in the morning maybe 500 in the afternoon 500 in, again in the evening and then right before i go to bed or maybe i'll do longer sprints a thousand and a thousand who knows the point is to get a thousand and whatever works but i'm probably going to spread it out if i can get it all in one sitting great but if not i'll know that i need to get two thousand in the day so i'll spread it out so if sitting down in one spot doesn't work for you then spread it out all right now back to writing and I'm really close. I am really close. I have like 457 words to go. So hopefully I can do it. Let's go. All right, guys, as you saw, I got really close. I wrote 1,855 words. I, had, I have 155 more to go to make the 2,000, but I'm okay with stopping there. That was really loud, sorry. I'm okay with stopping there because I ended a chapter and at this point, if I were to add any more to that chapter, I would just be adding it to add words and I'm not okay with that just for the sake of adding words. Um, so I'm okay with that because I ended the chapter the way I wanted and I didn't want to start a whole new one just to not be able to finish it. So I am happy with it. I did it. Yes, it's not quite the 2000. I'm 155 short, but I'm perfectly okay with that. I did it. I'm so happy. And then tomorrow is another day. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you found it inspiring in any way, leave me any comments below. If you have any suggestions on how I can move forward with, you know, finding inspiration or just getting motivation, let me know. Um, also, if you have not subscribed yet, make sure you do so on your way out. And remember, this video is a part of a playlist that I have, which I'll link it below. It's me writing a novel from step to step, step by step. 
uh, from initial idea to the day I actually published the book. So this is the writing phase. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you again in a brand new video next time. Until then, stay safe.